Okay, it's part two then. So we've constructed our first shape here for one, two, three, four, five icosahedrons uh, joined together. So we can get two ones there. And we're going to join, I made two more. So we've got three of these, and then we've got five single pieces. I find it's the easiest way to do it is to construct these big parts first and then just put these ones afterwards to, to make the shape. So we're going to join these up. Wrap it. Piece on here. And piece across here. That's it. That shape there. Piece across here from the inside, just to hold it in place. There we go. That's one of the pieces. The pieces joined. Join the other one. Now this can go across a few places, in a few different places here. I'll just join it across this one. It's just as easy as anywhere. there and one piece of tape across on this side. Now this is where I mentioned before it's quite useful if you've got a second pair of hands to help you just to hold things in place. I would ask my wife but she's just laughing at me in the moment. <laughs> side in here we've got a few little gaps to fill in now and this is just a matter of putting these together and adjusting I'll do this really quickly into here you take a little bit more time I'm just rushing through this okay. last few pieces you can see it's coming together nicely Two final pieces. Into here. One there. And one here. And we're left with a final piece to fill in. Now I'm going to leave this loose on here for later on just to show a different demonstration. But um, there you go. There's your icosahedron, 20 sided shape, made from 20 truncated pyramids. Good luck.